Hello and welcome to Dotto Tech. Today we're going to look at tools for the professional photographer that we can all use. Things have really changed in the world of digital photography. Obviously, the convenience, quality, and instant gratification of today's digital cameras have had a profound effect on us. But we've also been impacted on the printer front. We can now create prints that are as good as traditional photo finishers, that you resist fading for decades and at a comparable cost. So not only have the cameras changed everything, but the printers have as well. Think about the huge barriers that we used to face to print our own photos. Uh, traditionally, you'd need an in-house darkroom with chemicals and rubber gloves and trays. Lots of patience and skills, and you'd need those red lights that they always seem to have in dark rooms. Well, today, in order to get the same kind of quality prints from home, all you need is a photo-grade printer and a few minutes of time. Well, I want to show you two printers today from Epson the R1800 and the R2400. Now these are not your average home printers. They're not designed for office work or for students. These are serious photo printers. They're designed for photography and art. Now first up I want to talk about the similarities between these two printers. They're both designed for professionals, but they're really priced at a point where anyone can afford them. Each of these printers can print borderless up to 13 inches wide, and with a roll-fed paper option you can print out panoramas up to 44 inches long and both produce archival quality prints that will last for more than a hundred years and those prints are scratch and water resistant and they will resist fading over their entire life. Both of these printers have USB and Firewire connections and as we start managing larger pictures as far as the file size is concerned that Firewire connection is a nice benefit. We can also install both on either Mac or Windows machines. But let's start here with the Epson R1800. Now they categorize the R1800 as the photographer's choice for large archival photos. But really, it's all about the ink. These printers are both mechanical marvels. They provide a very high resolution as far as placement of ink on the page. The image quality is every bit as good as traditional photo finishing. So what really defines one printer from the other is the ink system and the ink technology. The R1800 uses Epson's Ultra Chrome High Gloss Ink. It's designed for commercial photographers and advanced amateur photographers as well as scrapbookers because it delivers high quality archival prints. Now we're talking about photos that can resist fading for up to 200 years. It has an 8 channel print head that uses an 8 color system. Now what's unique about the R1800 is it has a red and a blue ink cartridge which gives us more pop in our photos. Now those colors work side by side with the cyan, magenta, yellow, matte black, photo black and a gloss optimizer. The Ultra Chrome High Gloss Ink is the first pigment based ink set that delivers archival quality glossy and matte photos with glossy quality that's now comparable to dye based inks. Now since the inks though are pigment based you can be confident that the color and detail will remain true for years to come. Now I mentioned that we have this, which is the red and blue ink cartridges, and they give your photos more pop. That's actually my word. The photo folks say that the printer delivers a wider color gamut. Now regardless of what you call it, the result? Incredibly vivid photographs. Now I also briefly mentioned this, which is the Gloss Optimizer cartridge. It allows for uniform glossy prints that are similar to those from traditional photo labs. So this printer is ideal for high gloss finish photos like pictures of people in sports. So if you take a lot of those sorts of photos, then the R1800 is your choice. Oh, and there is one additional bonus with the R1800, is it will allow you to print directly onto your printable CDs and DVDs as well. But now let's talk about the R1800's brother, which is the R2400. Now we're using Epson's Ultra Chrome K3 inks that are designed for both photography and for pre-press proofing applications. This offers a larger color gamut plus neutral black and white prints due to their advanced black and white mode. It's got an eight color pigment based ink system which includes three level black ink technology. This printer offers significantly advanced gray balance and impressive mid-tones and highlights for smoother tonal ranges. In layman's terms, it means things like shadows and highlights look more natural and are smoother. It also reduces something called metamerism. Now, metamerism was what happens when color looks different under two different light sources. Say, for example, when the blue sky in this picture is looked at under indoor light, it might look green, but it'll look blue in outdoor light. Metamerism is reduced with these inks. 
Now the Ultra Chrome K3 ink also reduces gloss differential. And actually, here's look at this example again. Gloss differential is where the light and white areas and toned areas look different from the darker areas of a print. It almost makes a picture look patchy. And what you would see is the light areas of the print would be shinier because the surface of the paper is showing through, and the dark areas are dull because the ink covers up the gloss of the paper. Well, that's been virtually eliminated with Epson's K3 inks because the ink has a high gloss coating built in that changes the overall look of the ink on the page so you don't see the dull areas anymore. The whole surface of the print looks the same no matter how much ink covers the surface. Now another benefit of the high gloss coating in the K3 inks is improved scratch resistance and permanence ratings which means that you can now use these prints for resale or for gallery exhibitions. And you can also print on different types of media. There are three separate paper paths on this printer, meaning that we can use roll-fed media, we can use sheet-fed media, and we can use board media like poster boards. They can all be used. Now I have to make one final point about the ink that we're using in these Epson printers, and that's regarding the three black levels. Having three black levels really makes a difference in black and white printing, especially for photography and for artwork, because it enhances those mid-tones and highlights detail with smoother tonal ranges. So you now have black and white prints with the look and feel of traditionally produced photography. Now you may have noticed a few things missing from these printers. For example, there are no memory card slots because they're not designed for computerless printing. They're not about convenience, they're about quality. I think it's important to understand that model numbers really don't reflect good and better as far as the capabilities of these two printers. They're both cut from the same cloth. They're designed for different types of printing. So the model numbers don't really mirror the features or the quality. Now, even though the R1800 does cost less than the R2400, if you print glossy portraits and sports photos, well, it's the printer for you. But if you're looking for a printer with a matte finish capabilities for artwork and black and white work, then the R2400 is your choice. But regardless which one you choose, the R-Series large format printers from Epson will change your printing world. A larger canvas is a beautiful thing.